Good job, Jacob. So you will notice it is just Jacob and I tonight. And I'm not gonna lie, you were a little bit nervous. I was freaking out. <laughs> Why? You're so tech savvy. Why were you nervous? Because I'm not that tech savvy. I, I think I'm not you as tech savvy as dad. I no, well, I don't think anybody on the entire planet is as tech savvy as dad. Dad could get a job as one of the best buy nerds. Not gonna lie, that's probably the truth. Let's say hi to some people. Let's see. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Kay. Good grief. How are we a mile apart and we don't get to see each other very much? It's those damn kids. Hi, Meg. All right. So Facebook and Insta will give you both a minute for all of you guys to get live. Hey, Jay-Z. I hope you had fun with Kit today. All right. I hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm, as always, I'm going to catch up while people are joining and be real for a moment. That's an app now. Did you know that? What? Be real. Really? Yeah. And what does it do? It's a new social media app, basically. Okay. And every day at a certain time, all over the world, everybody who has the app, it sends you notifications saying, it's time to be real. You have two minutes to take a picture of your what you are looking at and what you're doing. Awesome. And it what set, a way to connect. And what it also that says, COVID? well, it also says, um, says how long you've been late, hey, like tells you what time you posted, how many minutes you're late. Hi, Delaney. Listen. I am going to have a real moment because I think this is something you guys can probably help me with because some of you guys have been through this. My kids are leaving and I don't love it. I don't love it. Like you're leaving at the end of August. So this has been my last two weeks. Let me remind before I even go there. My last two weeks, I went down to Virginia. Grace had a horse show. So I went down to Virginia with her then came back then my son graduated so we're going to talk about that in one moment oh boy it was a lot jacob it was a lot i'm happy for you but it is a lot then from there i went to syracuse then from there i came home for the fourth so it's been it's been a whirlwind of a few weeks and like a lot emotionally and what are you doing um, all the dogs are at the top of the stairs. So oh, leave them alone. The I don't, okay. I'm at my house, just in case anybody was wondering. So, long story short, Jacob graduated. I'm very happy for him. And he signed his contract to go to Ottawa, Kempville. That's where he's going to be next year. I'm sure during the lives next year, I'm probably going to be like, I miss Jacob so much and cry. You'll have to do a live from one of my games. Um, maybe, but I just, I know I'm going to miss you terrible, but also so incredibly proud. He's going to go play hockey there like his daddy did. So not in Kempville, but pretty cool that you're playing in Canada. Pretty cool that you're playing with that team. I'm thrilled for you, so don't get it twisted. I am thrilled for him, but also, like, oh. Well, it's a little different than what Dad did because Dad went and played juniors and got paid for it. I'm not getting paid for this because it, this is. <laughs> Are you that what your way of saying? Well, that's, make sure I send cash. Is that what you're? Saying? No, that's that's the way of I can say I'm college eligible still. You are college eligible. That's the route that Jacob is hoping to do. But long story short, Jacob, we're not talking about you know, like your stats. We're talking about my emotions. And my emotions are saying, oh, my God, my baby's leaving me. And it's a real lot. So that's going to be really, really hard. I'm trying to see everybody that's on. Anyway, so Jacob signed in Ottawa, so that's very exciting. The girls have been full, like as soon as school ended, they were off to our shows, have been having a blast. But their very gracious horse trainer had them come and spend the 4th of July and in addition, stay for the week, which is beyond generous. I'm so glad they're working on things. I cried for like 30 minutes after letting them go. 
like a crazy person. I'll tell you, I cried as well, but not for the same reason. What? I cried because they were getting the Scotty J barbecue treatment, oh. and I wasn't. <laughs> they were getting, they were going to a friends of ours for barbecue for the fourth. But I'll tell you, it's like such a weird transition. Thumbs up me if you guys have had that transition when they leave. I remember, so that's why we're we're currently in Ashley's bathroom. Long story, but that's why we're in Ashley's bathroom. Let's see. Yes, I'm getting lots of thumbs up because it's really, really difficult. I can't see that far. Uh, Lori says, uh, my, yes, my parents had a fantastic anniversary. And side note, also weird, and I'm gonna overshare as well. Today would have been Marty and I's 20th wedding anniversary if we were still together, which we are still together as far as co-parenting, best friends, amazing. But, ugh, not joking. It was a little bit rough. But, anyways, it's Jacob and I this week because Marty's in Montreal for the draft. The girls are in um, New Hampshire to go and work on their skills. It's just us and the dogs. It's just us, and it's good. I'm glad I'm getting this special time with you. And... It made me start to think about a tradition that my mom started. So I was really involved in ballet and when I would leave, she missed me, but she would always do these cute things. She would, first of all, rip apart my bedroom, change everything around, get me new bedding. Like I would come back and it was like, my room was redecorated, always. And I'm not joking. She could do that when I was at school. She had like a Mac, but she would do that for sure um, every time I would go away. And when I came home, I was so excited to be in my space. And I have also done that tradition with my girls. So when they leave, usually I rip apart their bedrooms, I clean, I do all the dirty laundry that's like shoved in weird places. And then I'll be like, well, since I'm putting this all back together, I might as well fluff things up. Ashley's bathroom has been one of them. I had wallpapered and that's about it because the shoemaker never has shoes, right? So I never really gave a lot of attention to her bathroom. And I don't think she's watching. So fingers crossed. I think they're still at the barn. If she's on. Well, all their phones are off. Right. So I think she doesn't know this is happening. I said to her, I might fluff up your bathroom. but. When she gets home, it's gonna be so, so pretty. They get home on Sunday and I can't wait, but it's gonna be really, really pretty. So I thought I'd share it with you guys because I like to do usable. So I hope, even though this is a child's bathroom, Ashley's 12, even though she acts like she's 32, I feel as though I like to do usable even in my own bathroom. So my tips for you tonight, I hope that you can utilize in your own bathroom. This was just like, I was combining and doing like, I'm gonna decorate Ashley's bathroom and teach you guys something that I do in life. So a lot of times people say to me like, is Mackenzie very usable in real life? Yes, absolutely yes. Use your pieces, ding your pieces, let your kids use your pieces. They learn to respect it. I always, always, I was never one of those mothers that like put everything fragile away. I was like, don't touch it and that's fine but I wanted them to use and appreciate nice things. And now they really, really do. So my tip for you is have your pieces out, use them wisely. And like for, this is Ashley, if you guys don't know, Ashley is 12. So as, you, as I walk through, you'll see I, I have usable things, usable pieces, whatever. So Ashley, is a bath girl. So in this bathroom, there is not a shower. In the girls in the teenage bathroom, there is a, there is a shower. But Ashley is a bath girl. She rarely, rarely takes a shower. But Ashley can stay in the bathtub, and I'll be like, Ashley. I mean, if I five let her, she, she would stay in the bathroom at least two hours a day. She's big into bath bombs. She's big into lip scrubs. She's big into all of that, which sounds so weird. I, she must have gotten that from Marty, I'm pretty sure. But um, 
Regardless, I thought I would surprise her, redecorate her bathroom, give her a little goodie basket of fun things, and hopefully she'll have so much fun. So I want to show you, I'm going to start here at the bathtub since I'm sitting here. Is that okay with you? Jacob was so nervous about filming because there's like, so I don't have a window treatment. You're good. I don't have a window treatment in this bathroom because I don't need one because you couldn't see her obviously and so in, in my bathroom I don't have one either reason being is because I love to be in the bathtub and look outside I love to see the trees and the birds and I don't know I find that part of my whole relaxation experience and I've always like sh told my girls if you're gonna do it like really really relax if I let her have a candle up here she would I have one in my bathroom Obviously, she's 12, so no thank you. But I I try to have an experience, and I know this seems a little weird, but truly, if you know Ashley and you know me, this is, really isn't that weird. And so I just want to try to say hi to as many people. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Holly. Hi, Claire. Hi, Lisa. Okay. So let's talk bathroom first. So if you're a bath girl, like I full on in my bathroom have like, sometimes I'll have cheese and crackers, sometimes I watch YouTube, sometimes I read a good book. So I love a good bath break. Not, not all of this we sell at the store, but I'm just telling you how to enhance your experience, I guess. So I love a good bath tray. There's a couple I like. I have learned the hard way. Bamboo is the best because it doesn't mildew. It doesn't warp. It doesn't do anything. So kind of look for those. There's a bunch on my Amazon page if you feel as though you need one. But if not, I mean, you can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond, I'm sure, Target or something like that, Walmart, whatever. It doesn't have to be expensive because it's all about what you put on. So knowing Ash, I did a little combo thing and I hope she's going to be really excited. First things first is I love these little, these come in a set of three and I don't know prices or anything. I, some of this is mine, some of this is from the store that I'm keeping so I don't know prices, you'll have to go online. But I filled this with like little tart chocolates for her. These come in a set of three, these little tiny flower pots. I use them for everything and rarely ever flowers more like a pen cup on my desk. Um, I use them for snacks like this. Um, I saw one girl, a client of mine, she bought three of these because she had three littles at home and she would give them their snacks to sit on the couch with this. Super cute. So these are a set of three. I put dark chocolates in hers. Then I did the sugar bowl and I put Epsom salts in it because Ashley, either as a bath bomb or Epsom salts girls, depending if she's sore or not. So I used Epsom salts in that. I love that the enamelware is so versatile and also so practical because if it gets wet, it's no big deal. If it falls, which you know it's going to, also no big deal. I can't have bath mats in here because I have cats who like to TT on it. So anyways, but so I did a little mix of sterling check because I have a lot of pink in here and the pink and gray is so cute together. So that's that. Um, at the farmer's market, I have a favorite bath bomb person. And so I love bath bombs. I totally use them all the time. And also I love her soap. So this Saturday I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get some fresh flowers for him in here to surprise her and a new bar of soap. But a cute little, this one is so cute with the little birdie on top of it. I stuck that on her little thing so she has something to look at. I used in here, this is um, a, such a beautiful, pretty pattern that we have that's newer to the store this year. But I mean, it works so well in here with those bright pinks. And I did a couple fun things. She had a few extra bath bombs, so I put them in there, but I'm gonna fill it with others. This, I know she's been wanting, this just came into the store. This is the Watermelon Lip Treatment Duo. And let me just show you what comes in here. So it comes in this cute little tin. And inside is, first of all, like this little tiny lip scrub, lip scrubber. So she'll be in the bathtub doing that for sure. 
Then it comes with the lip balm, which kind of has like a little bit of a pink tone to it, which is really, really pretty. Hi, Mary. Um, Lori says, Jacob, you're doing great so far. He hung something for me today, so that was really good. And then this is the Sugar Sugar Lip Scrub, and I will tell you, I love this. It smells awesome. I think I have it in coconut vanilla too, but she's a watermelon girl. So I did that. And um, a little lip balm, very, very cute. And a little lip scrub. She's gonna be so excited for that. And it comes in this little tin. So she can keep it all in the tin, which is a parenting 101 tip. I try to contain I'm gonna say a swear word and I, I hope it doesn't like cut me out, but I'm gonna cry. I can try to contain all their little bits and piece bullshit. So like Ashley has 1 million rubber bands and bows and I throw them in a canister I'll show you. And that way I don't have to see it. And I think that, and I'll say Ashley, if I say, if her room gets crazy, I'll be like, Ashley, Go upstairs and put all of your stuff away in your bathroom. And she has a place for everything, and I like looking at it. So I think she does too. So, anyways, all right. So, watermelon lip scrub, metal container, so it can stay there. Um, okay, here's another tip I have. Sometimes I don't find pretty bath towels, so I use kitchen. These come in a set of three. You'll see I have them like sprinkled all around all over. You don't have to iron them, which I really like because practicality wise, that's too much for me. These ones happen to go and added a little pop of color, but they're a set of three. And I just kind of roll them up and I put them places in whatever. And they're easy, so I shoved it in there. Um, funniest thing about Ash, I do it too, so maybe that's why. Ashley is a shower cap girl, so if you come up here and watch her take a bubble bath, she'll have her hair in a bun and a shower cap on, and I'm not even exaggerating. And if I could share a picture, I would. It's the cutest freaking thing, but I always use a shower cap too because I don't wash my hair as often. I did not know that. Oh my gosh, it's the cutest thing. Her tiny little body, and she always has a shower cap on. So cute. So I got our new shower cap. We uh, we do sell those at the store. She's been wanting one of these sponge gels, which is like a sponge with a soap in it. And I was always like, Ashley, no, they're for the customers, whatever. So I put one in her little gift basket and she just started shaving her legs. So her little razor is in there too with a new head on it. And I just thought she'll be so excited. Something that I, have, I do in my shower and I guess that they must have adapted to it, but I almost always either have fresh flowers or eucalyptus in my bathroom. Um, when I'm taking a shower, it'll just be hanging. So I put a dried um, piece of eucalyptus here for her. So she has something really pretty to look at. And then I had bought this for her. This is not new, but it's, it's something with beauty counter, which is non-toxic. So I feel really good about using it. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash. But what I like about these ones in particular is a they're refillable and b they're like tin so they always continually look nice and clean and you can wipe them down so you know how like your kids are messy and they get like soap all down down it you don't have to worry about that so i'm trying to see hey carol all right so anyway so that is what i did as a little surprise table for her and i know she will love it Okay, moving on, um, up here, like I said, she doesn't have to worry about privacy. So I always, always on my windowsill or on a table near my bathtub, I love to have a picture. So either a family photo, I have a picture of a dog that passed me snuggling him. It's a, it evokes a happy mindset for me. So when I get in the bathtub and it's been a busy day in life, I like to unwind. So either I'll do a bath bomb or Epsom salts. I probably have a cocktail. And I like to visually see pretty things, but also I like to think about happy times. So I almost always, always by my bathtub have a photo. So Ashley loves to see family photos of us. 
So I put a family photo in here. I also added this, a clock. So this is sort of a new gift for her, but um, because Ashley has no sense of time <laughs> when she's up here, so I'll say, Ashley, if you've been in the bathtub for two hours, like you need to get out, but she'll either be reading a book or whatever. She gets like lost in this room. So well, she, she like puts on a movie. Yeah, she'll watch put the on a movie, movie and she'll watch the whole. She just wants to, it's her way of unwinding. It's, uh, they all have their thing, but. It's her anyways, quiet zone. Yeah, so I, so she has this and I added like a pretty little flower. I don't know, I may switch that up for something in like a practical picture with like real florals that she can switch out, I'm not sure. All right, moving on to this area over here. Again, for my own sanity, that's good Jacob, he can't see what he's doing, but he's showing. Okay, for my own sanity, I like to have usable things that are actually good looking and functional. So this is what I did on here. She doesn't have, when I designed this, I did, um, it was kind of reminiscent of something of the store. So it's open on the bottom and which I like for storage. I had good intentions to make some sort of like covered thing, never got around it, like almost like a window treatment, but I never got around to it. So I left it open. It's great for her garbage can, her dirty laundry, etc. So I upgraded that. So over here we have, I'm not even sure if they're still making him. Lori, you can tell me, are they still making him? He was damaged at the store and I brought him home. I love him and I use him for her little towels, which I just got some fresh towels, but sometimes I'll just even add like a washcloth or whatever here. I added for her, she had just kind of like a little mason jar, but I added this little cute cup so for her toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, so that'll be really fun for her, that's just the tiny one. And then I added this, and I'm gonna get her a fresh, when she went to the dentist last time, she, I had bought her dental floss, but she's not using it, she needs those little picks. So I'm gonna fill this one with all little dental floss picks in this little cute, um, uh, what is this one called? This is called the side. mini. This is the mini. I just bought a bunch of picks from Rite Aid. Yeah, you guys are like, I, like, I, like, I don't like the picks, but she does, so I thought I'd fill that in there, and then you won't see them. They're not attractive, so anyways. And then over here, a weird thing that I have is that I always, she has a plug here so that if she's blow drying her hair, she's doing, yeah. So if she's blow drying her hair, she's doing things, um, she can have the plug, but I don't ever like to see plugs. So I covered it up, I made a floral, and had um, this, and it's just kind of showing, just like a little layering is what I wanted to show you. A little layering can go a long way. And then the Michael Designs, um, a little bit of foaming hand wash, which I love because they're so pretty to look at. So if, like for me, I'm going to be scared putting an actual soap dispenser in here because I will forget to fill it because that's just life. But if I have this, when it's empty, she can tell me. She has all these stickers of her and her horse shows and things up here. She, Emily makes her all these stickers, so this is her showing. I don't know how she does it, but. She draws them. She does? Yeah, on her iPad. It's really, really cool. All right, under here, and Jacob, maybe you're gonna have to just like angle it down, sort of. I added this cute little picnic basket, and I use this, She's been using it, but I added it down here for her dirty laundry so she can open it up, throw her dirty laundry when she gets in the bathtub and close it up. I don't want to see it. I don't want people, if I have guests over, I don't want people to know, so it'll be down here. And then I put our cute little garbage can here. I'll take it out. Um, this is a new addition. You're like really zooming in on my feet right now. That's okay, at least I have a pedicure. Um, so anyways, the really rosy garbage can, very, very cute. And it match, I mean, how much more perfect could you get for this space? And then just because I had, here's another design tip, really technically underneath here, you can see the pipes. So that's why I used bigger items to cover it up. And then I just added one of these little bouquets 
because it just will soften things up. If I have two, like when I'm doing something like this, I always stand back and look at the vantage point. What do people see when they walk in? What is she going to see when she's in the bathtub? Will she ever think about that? My kids would, would most, I don't know. But I kind of always am thinking, what do people first see and how can I soften it? So you could add towels, you could do something like that, but if you have two hard things, like the picnic basket, a cool, this is an antique, but like a cool fun idea like for your, for your kids' dirty laundry, and then when it's full, it's small, so they have to bring it on down, which is, tends to be a problem in our house. Or they stuff it somewhere else. Or she, Ashley is a little bit of a squirrel, and she'll like hide things a little bit. Um, Lori said, yes, they are still making the courtly check menu rabbit and we can special order it. Perfect. That's what this rabbit is. That if you guys were seeing where the towel is, I forget. I think he holds like a, um, a whiteboard, but I used him like this because I think the whiteboard broke. So then I brought it home. So anyways, if you have two hards, make sure then you're softening it. Um, I love if you have space in your bathroom, and we could show that maybe at the end, Jacob, so you don't have to spin around. This isn't really that big of a bathroom. But I have a chair almost always someplace to sit. Because, like, in my bathroom, I don't, my master bathroom isn't really huge. But I actually have the Mackenzie Child stool in there because I like to sit when I'm doing my hair and makeup. So, um, you know, always, I always like a little bit of upholstery in a bathroom as well because it just kind of softens things. So if you're lucky enough to have a lot of space and you can do a rug because you don't have cats or dogs that are going to TT on it, well, great. But I, can, I don't have that luxury, so I have a little chair in the corner for her if she's taking off her clothes or whatever. And, or sometimes it's just throwing her bathrobe on it, no, to be honest with you. No bubbers allowed in the laundry baskets up here. No, no, no. Austin, up here. Yeah. All right, so should we move on? Sure. Okay, another tip I have, we'll move right over here. So you're gonna have to like lift that up and bring it, just turn it. Okay, perfect. Oops, that's good. Okay, so I hope you guys can, yeah, they can both see. Okay, so almost always another thing that I have, I'm gonna stand on this side. Another thing that I have in my bathroom and in all of the kids' bathrooms is a table like this. In mine, I put on mine, like a floral, I put uh, my bath bombs. Um, mine isn't big enough to have, I can maybe post pictures or something, but it's, but for her, I love adding, there was this weird nook right here, which again, when I'm visually looking as I'm coming in, it needed something. So I added this, a little bit of whimsy, but also I wanted it to be practical, functional, usable. So I put all of her washcloths and then her towels on here, which is also great because then I can see um, Ashley has a weird thing where she stashes towels and I don't know where they are. And then I use probably my current favorite Mackenzie Childs piece right now to add a few more of her bath bombs in there. Our, like you can put cotton balls in here. Um, just so, like so, so cute. I love the size of this. The cookie jar is really super popular, but this is so tiny and so, so cute. And then I added a statement piece because I want to, you have a big, um, a big tub right here. You have a big empty wall. We needed something to kind of fill that gap. So this is something we carried a while ago. I'm sure I can still get it. I don't know. It's not for sale right now, but just showing you that you fill up the top of it. Don't be afraid of height and volume and things like that. All right, Jacob, can you angle it up? One of my very best sellers at the store is, are the butterflies. Um, these are antiques. These are from forever ago, but they're to hang your towels. These came with my house um, and, I, and I loved them, so I kept them and they're great to hang your towels. But this wall, um, this is, and I know people are going to ask me, this is Thibault wallpaper and Janice, I'm not sure, is this still available? I, I, honestly, I don't remember if it's still available. Something similar, I'm sure, is still available. But 
this little sweet wallpaper is so so cute with the little little all little flowers and stuff if you don't know we do a lot actually we do a lot of wallpaper and so um it's probably and tebo is one of our best sellers so if you're looking for beautiful high-end easy wallpaper that you can wipe down come and browse our books because they're really there's a lot of options um, but one of our best sellers are the Mackenzie Child's butterflies and I just thought in the in all of these little cute flowers that they would be so fun and what I love about them is that you can really mix match patterns that's how they're meant to be mix match sizes and shapes um, and it gives it a lot of whimsy because it's three-dimensional so instead of on this wall by the bathtub I had done artwork over here I added something with a little dimension so you know you can see they're super easy to hang I just did picture nails and then you can kind of just like place them where you want so even one would be so cute and I think it is a fun addition and it gives it some dimension and some structure to a wall that would have just kind of been bland and plain. All right, let's move around to this way if you can. Um, Ashley's cat wants to get in on the action. I know, Ashley has the weirdest cat who He's a tiger. follows us. All right, I think that's actually pretty good, Jacob. Oh, no, let's there turn it just like there that. There we go. There we go, okay. So Ashley has a half wall as you enter in, and um, I wanted to add this like sweet little lamb, bring out some of the buttery colors. Really why I picked it was for his coloring because I love him with the wallpaper. And even though I didn't do a lot of courtly check in here, I just thought a little touch here and there could go a long way. This is probably the most diverse shelf in all of the universe. Um, and I love, she doesn't have a lot of storage. She doesn't have drawers in her vanity. So we needed to be smart. Like I said, I use things. This is an old pattern with Mackenzie. I think it was one of the first things, maybe not the first, but maybe up there. Um, and it doesn't pink. I doesn't really go in my house. So I loved having some height on here. One thing that I noticed that people do pretty, um, pretty often, like a mistake that people do when they're even doing small shelves like this. So you have a focused interest point. You have something that people are going to look and see and you want to suck them in. You want to show them some interest you don't want to overwhelm. You guys know I'm not big on the rules. Like sometimes people are like, four, three, two, and no. Stand back and look at it. And if it brings you joy, that's great. Ashley has, for example, and oh, this one is empty because I'm gonna add her um, scrunchies. Because she has bows in one and then scrunchies in another. Okay. She's gonna kill me. What's that? I allow Ashley um, Benadryl in her room because her eyes will get puffy, so she knows she's allowed to take one of these if, if she does. I'm not gonna explain this, oh, oh, but I might she's that. allowed to have that. They're chewables, and she's allowed to have that in there. And usually, I keep Tylenol, and she'll she'll say, "Mom, my tummy hurts. I feel really bloated," and she knows that they're in here. So sorry, Ash, if you're re-watching this. I have in here her little music box jewelry. So she has all of her little jewelry odds and ends. Usually it's like special knickknacks in her universe. That's, you know, how kids are. They like keep all, I don't know, like I said, I don't know where she gets it from. And then this canister, so you could do this with your three canisters. Mine just happened to be this. Right now she has her bows and her scrunchies all in one, and I'm gonna be separating that. I just didn't have time. So she has her bows in here and also her scrunchies. And I'm gonna put scrunchies in one, bows in another. And then I have found, and I've used them all over my house, but there's these cool things that you can get from Amazon that you don't need to plug in your lights. You, so if you want a little lamp up here, you there's on an off switch or a timer 
they're on Amazon, they're on my page, um, and I'll, you can check them out, but they're the coolest thing. So, so I felt like this corner was a little bit dark, and if she has to use the bathroom in the middle of the night or whatever. So I am going to have that one on a timer, um, and it's just one of our little, we have a couple cute little sweet little lambs and roosters and things, but I thought the little birds looked again so cute against this. This I saw on, I don't know, TikTok or something, and I thought it was so cool, but toilet paper roll. Yeah, obviously, it's a paper towel roll, but I decided that it would be good to keep her paper, t her toilet paper because I don't know what the heck my kids do with their toilet paper, but they always seem to be out of it. I'm out. Always. I'm out right now. Are you? See, that's what I, I just don't understand that. But anyways, so... Hopefully Ashley doesn't see this. Hopefully it's a fun little surprise. But I guess my my whole thought process, and I hope that I share that with my girls as well, and you, Jacob, at some point, may or another, is make if you if you enjoy being in the bathroom. I'm totally gonna sit in this toilet right now because I have to sit. It's been a long day. But if you enjoy being in the bathroom, make it a Space. Like, make it something that you enjoy being. Add your things. Add chocolate. And I, I have in my bedroom, right outside my bathroom, an apricot brandy decanter. I mean, add what you love. If you love magazines, if you love, look at those things that you love and don't be afraid to, to glam up your bathrooms a little bit. So many times I go into customers or client design clients homes and I'll say oh do you love to shower do you love to take your bath and they'll say yes and I go in and it's like such a lame spot of their house and I'm thinking why why are we not um, hi mrs. Taylor I hope you're doing well why are we not glamming up the spot where we are at all the time and make sure that when you're doing that, you're looking around. What do you see when you're in the bathtub? What do you want to see? Is it a family photo? Is it beautiful flowers? Is it chocolate? Is it wine? Whatever. But what are you seeing so that you are really immersing yourself in an experience? You're making your own little spot at home. It's so important, I think. So anyways, Ashley hopefully will be surprised when she comes in. I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to let her be surprised. I try to pick things that are all going to be 20% um, off this week, Wednesday Night Live. I try to pick all kinds of versatile things that, like, like this little picture I think is on, things like that, that you guys could doll up your own bathroom, whether it be a hall bath, would it be your master bath, whatever, whatever, have it be whimsical, have it be beautiful, and spend a little extra time in your bathroom making it pretty this week. So 20% off those items, buzz20 is your code, and also um, I want you to go check that out immediately, and then I forgot to bring the iPad home that does the giveaway. If you guys are not entering those giveaways, I really can take no credit for them because I have the girls do it at the store and they do, Delaney and Gracie are tag teaming those giveaways and they think of such fun, cute, clever things, but I forgot to bring, I forgot to bring the iPad home that does the picker. So tomorrow when I get to the store, I promise you I will do that. So if you entered when you're waiting, I'm so sorry. But tomorrow is, will be a fun giveaway. So I hope you have a very bathing hut. Thank you, Janice. That's what that is called, that pattern. It's discontinued, but it is so super, super cute. It's no longer available, but you can just kind of see how I mix and match patterns all in one room and it just kind of works. So anyways, I hope you all have a good night and take care and thanks for joining. Shh, don't tell Ash. Good night, everybody.